All right, it is not every day that I get to say this, but it is in fact a free synth Friday. Is that still working? It is a free synth Friday because Native Instruments has just released the Massive X player. Uh, and basically this is a simplified cut down version of Massive X that is totally free uh, for anyone to download. And I think it's really cool. I think this is a game changer for composers specifically. Um, and when I say composers, I, I'm basically meaning like people like me, like people who work maybe more with like orchestral kind of instruments and maybe you don't know that much or even anything at all about sound synthesis. I think this is a game changer. I even think if you are a composer who happens to already own the full version of Massive X, this is still incredibly useful for you and I'm going to explain to you why. So moving to the DAW, this is what you get when you open the instrument for the first time. Um, something to note is that I do happen to have the full version of Massive X installed plus some expansions. Um, so I think you might have less um, options up here at the menu on the top, but otherwise pretty much the same I think. Um, and so what you get is you get to start with you have the MX player library which is a collection of, I think it's 60 uh, presets that are taken from various bits and bobs of the full version of Massive X. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, I have a few extra expansions installed, but on top of that, you can also get this Bass Music Essentials, also is totally free on the Native Instruments website. It's a part of the free complete start package, so give that a look. Um, this is also another 50 presets. Um, so stack that on top of the 60 that come by default with the player library. Um, that's 110 totally free synth presets. And not only are they free presets, but you also do have a, actually I would say surprisingly large amount of control over the sound. Um, I'll do a demonstration. There's just something about an XY pad, they're great. But yeah, you're getting basically like eight knobs down at the bottom, which I think is already like sometimes more than you get in a contact instrument. Um, and these are basically a bunch of pre-selected parameters you can change that will alter the sound in a meaningful way. Uh, you'll notice as you click through the different presets, sometimes they have different parameters um, that have an impact on the sound. Uh, which is really cool. You also have this animator section, which I think is really the star of the show, because for me, as somebody who might use synth chords or synth pads as like the underscore to a film soundtrack, the biggest challenge I always run into is like, okay, I'm playing a chord, but it doesn't really have movement or it doesn't really have a sense of it's evolving in the same sense that you might get using like a live instrument sample. Uh, and this is a game changer for this. So let me just switch to a different um, preset and I'll show you. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Let's try this one. Oh, Gaelic Chimes? I'm Gaelic, I love that. Oh, that's so much fun. And I didn't have to think about anything, didn't have to automate anything. I just kind of pressed a few buttons uh, and I had an evol a really truly evolving pad. And I think that's really cool. And one other thing you can do if you're stuck in the free version and you want to, you know, have a bit more control of it even, is you can turn some of these knobs on and off. And so basically when you do this, they won't be affected by uh, the animator. And so you can hear like the sound is still evolving, but it's a lot more subtle compared to when we did it for the first time. So it's a handy little trick to have. 
Okay, I'm going to do a little callback to something I mentioned earlier in the video, and that is the utility of something like this if you already own the full version of Massive X. Uh, so let's talk about that. This is what the same patch looks like on the full version of Massive X. And, you know, I think like the design of Massive X is really cool. But if you're like me and you don't know really very much at all about um, sound synthesis, this is very daunting. And so when I've been using this, I've actually been kind of flip-flopping between the full version of Massive X here and the free version here. Um, because they interact with each other in some very, very cool ways indeed. Okay, right now we have the animator running. So you can see all of these knobs down here that are being animated are also being animated up here in the full version of Massive X. So that's the thing to always remember that these eight macro knobs up here in the full version, they always correspond to the eight knobs down here. And this is kind of a big deal because like the fundamental way that the full version of Massive X works is that like you can take these knobs and you can kind of connect them to anything um, it also carries over to the player so let's take this for like maybe I don't want to change the resonance of the sound that much maybe I would rather have this on the gain on the Monarch synth so if I want to do that I can drag this for from up here down there, put it on gain. Yes, I'm going to replace it. And now you can see that instead of changing the resonance, um, we're actually changing the volume, the gain, on this four macro knob. And that is even reflected down here. You can see this fourth knob is now gain. And if I solo everything else that's not that knob, you can see. I don't think it's making a huge difference, but you see what I'm getting at. If you have all these parameters in the full version of Contact and you're like me and you're like, okay, I don't know what any of this stuff does. Well, you can kind of, you know, throw shit at a wall and see what sticks. And if you want to explore your sound design possibilities even more, um, speaking of presets, one thing you can do, start up the init patch on Massive X. Here it is. This is like super basic um, waveforms that you have. It gives you some basic routing and then that's it. Sounds a little bit like this. And this is a great starting point to, like I said again, throw some shit at the wall and see what sticks. For example, put our number one macro knob over here. Bada boom, bada boom. Uh, we want to, oh, no. There we go. And now our number one macro is changing what type of, it's changing the waveform basically. Uh, and since we've added this as a macro, I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to call it Owen in capital letters. It just, just feels like a good thing to do. Um, and now that we have this, we can turn off everything else. And in isolation, the XY pad is just controlling the wave type at this stage. Which is so much fun. Like, that's so good. Yeah, so this is just like kind of opened my eyes to the possibility of sound synthesis in a way that's like a lot less daunting and terrifying um, compared to doing it in the full version of Massive X. When you combine them, they're even better, I think, um, which is really fun. So that is my fun tip on this free synth Friday in which we find ourselves. Um, I'm going, totally going to be using this in some of my productions. I really want to put together like some cyberpunk something with this. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this little uh, rundown and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>